So men say they don't want to invest in women anymore. 50-50, you know, what do you bring to the table? But you do invest. But you do invest just in the wrong type of woman because you're here telling me that you want a traditional woman and what do you bring to the table? And, you know, you want you to have values and all that stuff. And why should I invest in you if you don't have that yet? You are paying for only... Funny you should say that, sweetie, considering your entire TikTok content is about getting men to pay for your feminine presence. Ironic. By the way, I also saw that you're married, but what I didn't see on your TikTok page is proof of any marketable skills, which means if it weren't for your husband funding your lifestyle, you'd probably be one of those wrong women getting invested in with $5 a month on that website that starts with only. Proper garden tool. And if you ask me, the only difference between that and your current setup is that instead of the money coming from several men, it only comes from one. So You're a strong, independent woman. You don't need no man. Well, we need to know that your mortgage increased a thousand dollars. Got other women that I'm seeing come up on my feed that saying that they can't afford their rent. They need four thousand dollars to move into a new apartment. And I thought you was making six figures. You killing it. We supposed to feel some type of way? He's mad because he's jealous. Single women are racing ahead of men in home ownership. Yes, because most of them got the house in the divorce. But by all means, continue the cringe. It makes raggedy men happy to feel like a single woman isn't thriving on her own. Right. Sweetie, if she can't afford to pay her mortgage, she's not going to be thriving she's gonna be homeless and then she's gonna be looking for a husband and like the gentleman from your video put it we're not interested dismissed like they want her to feel like see that dismissed thank you for this obvious solution to my problems of wanting to take a step back from s work and wanting to find a real job again but we have a slight problem i've been out of a job a real job for two years. So there is a massive gap in my resume and I have been applying for jobs and no luck so far. And when I do get an interview, hopefully someday, I'm not sure how I'm gonna explain what I've been doing this whole time. But if anyone's got any tips of what I can do in this instance. Sure, I got some tips. You could delete the internet. It's not that simple. What? Well then, you could build a time machine, go back in time and stop your younger self from putting your box on the website that starts with only. It's not that simple. What? Well, in that case, sweetie, don't quit your day job. If there's men that watch this show, if they've learned anything, it's probably how to respect and how to have a long-term healthy relationship with a woman that you can call your wife and have a family with. How do you get a wife, Ethan? Because my thing is like, you're, you're like, just, you're talking about the finish line. What about the race? Yeah. yeah. You stand like, you have to get Are to either you married? where you can even identify a female that's worthy of marriage, of having a family with, etc. And unfortunately, in today's day and age, it's not that simple anymore. So, so we so live in a very complex world where it's difficult to identify women that are marriage material. And most aren't simply, that's just what it is. So you guys are, if you guys' that? method is so good, why aren't you married? Again, because men are the ones that decide if they want to get married. Choice. So, so you choose not to be married. Yes, yeah, because men are You're... the one. We're the gatekeepers to marriage and commitment. Women are the gatekeepers. Right, and um, you're 34, right, Myron? Yes. And um, do you plan on getting married someday? Do you think it's important? Eventually, the nuclear family is the backbone to any thriving society. Oh, well, thank you for saying that about me. <laughs> he didn't. He was speaking generally. But you know what's ultra cringe? You fishing for validation from Myron when you should be getting that validation from your wife. Pathetic. Good job, but a lot of guys don't have that ability to find a woman that's worthy. You don't have that ability. I don't have that ability? You're not married. <laughs> that's my choice. <laughs> oh, but, you, but no, the ability to find a woman, you clearly don't have that ability. Ethan, that's a stupid argument to make, because if we were to use that logic on you, I can make the argument that you don't have the ability to have low body fat. Life's too short to exercise. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> There's so many better things to do than exercise. Now, realistically, that's a choice you made. It sucks being fat. I just want to be like 
normal again. A lot of it's better since I've lost like 20, 30 pounds, but like it was hard for me to trim my toenails. Bruh. A choice that you seem to be regretting. Now, if we were to apply the you don't have the ability logic to your own marriage, I could also make the argument that you didn't have the ability to marry an American woman, considering you met your wife in another country, married her in 2012, and she became a U.S. citizen in 2019. You're a passport bro, just like Ben Shapiro, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if Myron, who is a practicing Muslim, were to do what you and Ben Shapiro did, as in go to the land of his ethnic ancestors, which is Sudan, with his big, fat American passport, and be like, yo, I'm an American citizen, I make well over six figures, I want a traditionally submissive Muslim woman to be my wife, and go live with me in America and have my kids in America, there'd be hundreds of women lining up for that position. So Ethan, if you want to twist words and misrepresent reality, keep in mind, it can happen to you too, and you might come out worse than the guy you tried to do it to. And that's the bottom line, cause don't go censor. <laughs>